Hello and welcome to this, our latest webcast, which we are recording on Thursday the 14th of January. Firstly, may I begin by wishing you and yours a very happy new year, and I trust you survived the big freeze and all of the, the difficulties that were associated with it. I now want to get out of the serious business. In recent weeks, we have been lit contacted by literally thousands of members calling upon the union to respond to the government's decision to cut pay. Members from all counties have said to us that they cannot accept and will never accept uh, the imposition of a second pay cut. And they've asked us to show leadership and lead out on a campaign of resistance and non-cooperation in the face of this draconian measure by government. In that context, and in conjunction with all public service unions, the Irish Nurses and Midwives Organisation has now finalised the first phase of this campaign, which essentially comes on the, under the heading of a campaign of resistance and non-cooperation. On this website, and via hard copy we're sending out to branch officers and nurse representatives, the details uh, of the measures that we are calling upon members to enact as and from Monday the 25th of January will be made available. You will see that essentially it centres on withholding further involvement in new initiatives, new work, new roles, while maintaining the essential fabric of all nursing and military care that is required. Our objective is to slow down the system, to prevent the HSE and other health employers from rolling out a change programme, a transformation programme. They cannot expect to build a service while they're cutting the pay of those who provide the service. This will all be done in conjunction with other unions representing staff in the health service. And in that context, over the coming days, there will be meetings held in your workplace to, to provide you with further details about phase one of this campaign and what it means to you and how you should respond and react in adherence to the direction that we are now given. So please attend those meetings, please check our website, please check your hospital and health centre notice boards. But first and foremost, please adhere to directives that we are giving. They are very similar to the directives being given by other unions. This is phase one of this campaign, this strike back campaign against the government's imposed pay cuts. We need your adherence. We need your absolute loyalty to this cause. There will be further phases, but we will advise you of them, and there could be escalation very quickly if they ever intend to intimidate an INO MO member or any other member who is pursuing adherence to these union directives. Your paychecks are arriving, the pay cuts are now real, this campaign has to start on the 25th and be sustained for as long as necessary. Together we will overcome this draconian measure of government.